this is another prime example of a great player using an item and making it look a little stronger than it should. Completely didn't need to use it there. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll pull up YouTube and watch Wacky Jackie's latest video that he made. Um, kind of calling out the blue chip detector for being too OP. And as you're probably familiar with, if you're ever in this channel at all, you know that I'm not um, necessarily against that opinion. I do think the blue chip detector has um, the the best opportunity to to shake up the gameplay, the meta, how you play PUBG out of all the tactical gear. But I do think the blue chip detector is pretty balanced. Um, could it use one or two small minor tweaks? I think so. But let's let's watch Wacky's video. We'll point out some of the highlights uh, and key points that he makes. And then I want to offer some uh, just counter opinions, if you will, just to kind of play devil's advocate. So just to make it clear, I do think the blue chip detector is probably if there had to be one item that wasn't in the game, it would be this item. But even though it's in there, I think it is very situational and in some cases um, is actually going to act as a crutch for a lot of the players. So let's take a look. All right. So this is, again, Wacky Jackie's brand new video titled the blue chip detector used by a solo specialist. If this stays, PUBG is forever changed. So a couple of just quick keynotes. He's playing solo, uh, which is a, a big determining factor into which gear you choose. OK, because if you play solo duo squads, the gear you choose can have big ramifications on your gameplay and how your team uh, succeeds or not. So he's doing solo. He's doing blue chip detector and he's on Miramar. The map that you play has a, a lot to do with what item you choose as well. And then also keep in mind, it's Wacky Jackie. He's a really, really good high level player. Uh, and so sometimes when we see some of the best players using any item they can make it look op you know if you watch tiggleton enough you can watch him use a certain pistol or a gun that you would think is otherwise not that good and he would make it look op so just kind of keep that in mind as food for thought as you're watching the video but let's take a look why is this a controversial patch uh, that's being asked a lot um uh oh don't hit this i'm gonna see if i can show you oh no there's also a guy here I'm gonna see if I can show you real quick. I feel like this might not be the timing to do this, but this is ballsy. Right. Okay, this is why. Hot drop, I can see where he is. Blue chip detector. All right, so just real quick, first kill right off the bat. The the hot drop is where you're gonna see the biggest benefit of the blue chip detector for sure. But also, as long as you're semi paying attention when you land on your hot drop you're gonna have a really good idea of where the people are anyway and where you need to rotate to or kind of play more cautiously when you're around those areas so i uh, just wanted to point that out yeah he got a quick kill right there but let's be honest wacky probably would have even saw that person to begin with if he didn't have the blue chip detector and probably could have seen that guy um and got so him anyway right hot drop, you're just gonna have people with like with radar also that guy who he killed should have known wacky was here if he was paying attention because I mean, he literally ran out in the open, okay, you know, just right here, left to right. I can see where he is. And if that guy was paying any attention, he had a gun. You know, he could have already been looking over here for Wacky. So, blue chip detector. Again, you're talking about a very high so skill hot drop, tiered player here. You're just gonna have people with like with radar. All right, now He's this right one's interesting. Uh, Watch me. this. You can see the person's above me. Watch yes. this. So he's not on the ground floor. I see in the blue chip how it has this little up arrow. It that means if the arrow's above the the dot, the blue chip, the person you're tagging is a level above you. You don't know how high above you. It could be on the second floor, third floor, fourth floor. It doesn't matter. As long as they're above your elevation, it'll say the up arrow. If it's a down arrow, that means they're below you. Okay, so just critical need to know information there. Right here above me. That means he could be either on the roof, which I don't think so. He's, he might be in right in there. All right. Let's now, again. now keep this in mind. Even though this is very strong, he can pull up the detector and literally see, like, okay, this guy is not only in this building, 
He's also in this part of the building, like in this room. And if you can visualize the layout of the building you're about to push, you'll have a really good idea of which room they're in in that building and how you can proactively push the player in there. Now, keep this in mind. PUBG tweeted out, uh, I think a, two days ago, um, every, like every other day they've been tweeting out like a little update about each gear. And when they tweeted out the gear for the blue chip detector, they literally targeted, targeted the blue chip detector as an anti-campers device. So the way Wacky is using it right here in this scenario, this is how PUBG intended for it to be used, to find the campers who are just sitting in a building or, or whatever. Now, a couple key notes there. Look how close the, the guy is, right? So this thing only detects 50 meters away. That means 50 meters, this guy can and should be able to hear Wacky uh, this entire time as he's running around the building. So yes, Wacky now knows that this guy is here and also has a really good idea of where he was at least eight seconds ago because that's how long the refresh takes on the scanner. But that guy also is going to be able to know where Wacky is. And if he's paying attention to his audio, he knows where Wacky's moving. He knows if he's on dirt, if he's on you know metal or concrete, etc. So I'm just trying to point out that it's not like it's incredibly one-sided. It is an advantage, but I think a lot of people kind of overreacted initially to it. And that, that's why I wanted to point that out. Hey, he's right there. So now I'm in a hot drop. There's no one here on this floor. I can just see that on the radar. That's controversial. Or they could have a blue j <clears throat> a jammer backpack, right? If they have a jammer backpack, they don't show up on the on the uh, blue chip detector. Now, granted, for hot drops, many people won't have that because you got to just get lucky and find one on the hot drop, you know. So most people will show up on this ping. But again, something to note for a game PUBG, which is the most in my opinion, far most intense, scary, if you will, horror-like battle royale out there. So now he knows being exactly the up there. The back room up here. And Wacky's making a great point. So he, shouldn't, he shouldn't actually be here right now. This does really change. It's legit. He's right here. The feel of the game, for sure. He's right there. Now look. Look at, look at this. Okay. So if you don't think that is a bad thing and that's controversial, I think we just see the game very differently. Now, I, I do see Wacky's point, and I agree 100% that having that ability to see that little blinking dot every eight seconds, as long as a person doesn't have a jammer backpack, is very, very strong and does shape up the meta of PUBG quite a bit, at least on these starter uh hot drops where people don't have the blue chip uh jammer backpack rather however look at how this situation actually happened okay and, and again this is scenario by scenario you can point out a hundred different scenarios where it could go a different way but watch this he's right there this guy is already already you see him holding his angle he is already pre-aiming this angle of the doorway because he heard wacky come up the staircase so if this guy he was fighting against had a helmet or was a better player or a number of different scenarios, that guy kills Wacky even though Wacky knew he was here the whole time. So again, I'm just going back to this is a very specific scenario we're seeing. This is Wacky Jackie Retalman. He's a great freaking player. And he's obviously going up against a, a mediocre player who didn't even have a helmet for whatever reason. He didn't want to loot or is scared to loot or you know whatever the reasons were. Like, look. I mean, you you can see the the situation there. If you were a, a different kind of so kind of player, that is a bad thing, and you could have won that trade. I think we just see the game very differently. And also keep in mind that player literally sat still in that corner the entire time. If that guy was moving around in that building, that makes the blue chip detector much less useful because Wacky was able to basically do everything he wanted to do this entire time. He's taken his time, pulled out his scanner. Oh, 
I see him pinged literally in the same position, holding this angle the entire time. If this guy was moving around, peeking windows and bouncing around, Wacky would have, wouldn't have had the opportunity to pull out the blue chip detector. He would have had to rely on just his game talent and his game instincts of listening for the player, pre-firing the window where he thought the player might peek, those sorts of things. It's the things that you would do every time you played PUBG, no matter what. Having the initial blue chip ping, uh, you know, from 50 meters away, that is the key thing. Like, oh, there is a player for sure in this building. Let me play more cautiously since that person's camping. But once you're in the building, again, that scenario can change a lot. He's right there. Let's just hope this guy misses until I get to cover. <laughs> Obviously, that had his chance. Uh, uh, thank you. That, that had nothing to do with blue chip. That other guy literally missed 100% of his shots. <laughs> so you just let Wacky get out, take his time, and kill him. That obviously had nothing to do with the blue chip. What? Now, boom. You see that? See what Wacky just did there is he pinged two markers. He pinged, he pinged this new marker and the dead guy behind him. So on maps that have revive in it, so it's Miramar, Destin, and Erangel for the time being, on those maps, a dead player will still ping and show up on the blue chip detector because their death crate still has a blue chip in it. Now, Wacky could pick up that blue chip out of the dead player's crate and it would no longer ping, but as long as that chip is either on the ground or in that person's death crate, it'll still ping. So that's a nerf to the blue chip detector because if you're not paying close attention or if there's a lot of dead bodies around you in a hot drop for instance that could be very hard to figure out who's the actual alive enemies and who are the dead people just pinging the chips so we're just waiting for it to ping again there you go same spot probably dead and so he's putting, you know, two and two together. He just killed a person up here. It's probably a yeah, dead yeah. box and sure is dead box. Boom. Wacky Jackie's using the blue chip, which means he's not using any of the other gear. Now look, did you see what just happened there? This is another prime example of a great player using an item and making it look a little stronger than it should. Completely didn't need to use it there. So Wacky just showed, if you back up just a little bit here, watch this. You see how he turns and looks immediately over here? He heard this player before he ever even pulled out and pinged on the blue chip. And that's because the blue chip only works 50 meters now. So unless that person is literally creepy crawling or camping in a corner, you're more likely to hear them before you even need to ping them, especially in a, in a wide open scenario like this. And now that he does ping them, he goes, oh, okay. So there is for sure a guy there. Here's the dead player he just killed. And this, this piece of intel is important, the up arrow. Okay, so there is a player over there, and he's at a higher elevation than what I'm at. But, again, I'm going to show you right here. If he goes against an actual better player, he dies. Right, right, right here is a perfect example. This player also knew Wacky was here. And this player does not have a blue chip detector. And we know, well, we assume that. I shouldn't say we know that. We assume that because... Wacky has a jammer backpack on, so this guy would not have been able to detect Wacky Jackie's position because Wacky has the jammer backpack. So this guy also must have heard Wacky. And again, the, the blue, blue chip detector does nothing uh, for him there. However, right here, Wacky almost dies to using the blue chip. And this brings me to my next point. So right here, Wacky should be dead, right? If you're If you're an actual decent player, and you get that half second drop on your enemy as they have their tactical chip in their hand or they're swapping weapons or whatever, nine times out of 10, you're winning that trade. But 
the guy literally doesn't hit one shot and wacky makes him pay for it being such a great player boom double headshot that guy's dead he's out of the picture but again that's a, another example of the guy in the building who is camp in the corner who is pre-firing the ang- or pre-holding the angle where wacky pulled up and still lost that fight then this guy who has the drop on wacky as he's swapping from his item and still loses the fight Completely and wa- didn't need to use it. And there. Wacky even said, didn't even need to use it there because obviously he heard, not, he heard not him. Not the last time I did it. I just did it because... He well, heard him the whole because. time, but he almost lost the fight because of it. And people are going to lose their fights when they, when they rely on certain tactical gear too heavily. So again, that's another potential nerf of the blue chip detector is that if you do become too accustomed to using it, you're going to rely on that item and constantly want to pull it out and, and scan and scan and scan. Whereas if you're just relying on your, your audio and you're playing your, um, your visual and audio cues, you'd be a bit more snappy and a bit more quickly to react to the situation. Well, at the same time, being feeling, uh, what's it called? What's the word? Um, All right. Another example. Uh, th- Blue chip detector does nothing for that scenario, right? Just outplays him, outshots. The guy misses all of his shots. Wacky has time to get out of the car, do his wiggle peaks, and you know, just just be the better the better player. So the fact that he has a Bluetooth detector does him zero good right there. And again, it takes away his opportunity of having other gear in that particular scenario where he maybe wanted to have a different type of weapon available or I don't know, a Panzerfaust or something like that if he had the extra tactical backpack. Now this end game is actually going towards a compound. This is where a blue chip detector is gonna start to be a bit stronger again. For the early game, very strong. Mid game, not so much. Late game, strong. Also keep in mind, Wacky has the, the jammer backpack on. So this entire time, Nobody is detecting Wacky Jackie's position because he has the jammer backpack. But you almost have to assume that everybody else also has the jammer backpack. See, just like right there, he just did a quick scan. Didn't see anything. There very well could be someone literally proned up here waiting, listening to you running up to you. And you assume they don't, they're not there because they didn't ping on the jammer. That's what I mean when I say the item could become a crutch. See, nothing's pinging, but the guy could be up here with a jammer just sitting still, waiting. That could always happen. Boom, now he pings him. But keep in mind, the guy that he pinged... I mean, like, like literally the same scenario again. We're looking at, obviously, again, Wacky playing the game. He's one of the best players you'll watch, you know, especially streamers. One of the best streamers for sure. Obviously, there's some pro players that are better. But look, this guy is sitting still here. And here's Wacky coming way longer than just right here in this instance. He's already has his gun out. He's aiming where Wacky's coming. He knows he's coming and still loses the trade to Wacky running up to the hill, stopping the run, ADSing, and then taking the fight. Just another example of how, yeah, Wacky knows where he was roughly with the, the, uh, the blue chip detector, but that didn't win him that fight. This is Wacky's superior skill winning this fight. Hmm. Kind of a guy on a bicycle coming in here to my right. Must have heard a bike. Oh. There you go. Where's the guy on a bicycle? Great spray at the AK right there too, huh? That's a long shot. All right, so hmm. this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. All right, so Wacky, here's the suppressed AK. So he knows there's a player over here. Let's see how he plays it. Okay, he does a quick scan, doesn't see anything. Keeps on trucking. Sees that guy in there. Oh, good spray. He actually... He could have moved ba- into safety. Yeah, he barely got him out there. I was going to say the same thing. He barely got that kill. He should not have gotten that kill had the guy just, you know, went whoop, right back into cover. But there you go. So he had no idea that guy was there because of the blue chip detector. He just was using his game sense. But you can imagine a scenario where you're glued to your chip and you miss that opportunity because you're just glued to your chip, right? 
All right, oh, boom. Tab here. Scans it. Knows the guy up in that building. Again, that guy also knows Wacky's here. He hears Wacky way before now, and but now he for sure knows he's here. And if he's paying attention, he knows he's on metal stairs. He knows he's up he's here with floor. him. He's not on the roof. So Wacky knows that because of the chip, but that guy also knows that because he hears Wacky. So it goes both ways. Now, you take that scenario out of it, right? Now that they both know where each other are, what if the other guy has a tactical backpack and has a shotgun waiting for these close range scenarios? So even though Wacky knows there's a person in there and can safely assume, okay, now I need to play cautiously here. The other person already hears Wacky. They also know Wacky's there. And now they pulled out their shotgun and they're ready to one pump you. And they still have their assault rifle and their AR or their DMR and sniper rifle um, as you know other weapons. Or they have a backup Panzerfaust for close range. Who knows? I'm just trying to throw out there some devil advocates of what else could you use instead of the blue chip and could it be more powerful right here wacky's using his game sense he's kind of peeking the windows when he's running by he's not overly relying on the blue chip detector does another scan confirms the guy's still there and ironically enough he's in the same room that the other guy was in most likely anyway that he killed in the beginning remember the guy on the second floor He's likely in that same little kind of corridor um, closet. So Wacky's going to try to bounce his nade in here. This guy in here, here's Wacky priming a grenade. You, these are all audio cues that you hear without having a blue chip or whatever, you know? So that guy should already know all this is coming. This is the yeah, nade. Full chance that that would happen, right? Now, the blue zone grenade here, this is a smart play. So throws it kind of mid so that it absorbs most of the building. And what Wacky is assuming is that this guy is going to have to exit the building. He hears him, hears thump, 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 thump. He hears the footsteps. But again, the guy in there hears Wacky on the stand as well. You hear. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And look what he does. So he just sat inside the blue, the blue zone grenade ate up the damage and then just jumps right out so again did wacky get the kill with the blue chip detector yes 100 percent. did the blue chip detector actually save him or or like earn him that kill i would argue no just his his superior gaming sense and skills and the other players lack thereof did Okay, so he just pinged the dead body and he pinged someone to his left who he doesn't know if it's a real person or not, like a, an alive person or not. This guy. So you have to assume this person's alive because again, it could be a dead player. He has to assume that. But what he's also doing is kind of just meandering around. The uh, There could be another player with a jammer backpack sitting like right in a corner and he would have no idea. Okay, now he heard that guy in the sand. See the jammer backpack right there. Also, look what Wacky did here. You see this? He dropped that chip initially. Okay, now he dropped it again. See, the blue chip I dropped is from someone I looted. You cannot drop your own chip. So what he just did is dropped a random chip in a corner of a room so that if someone else has a blue chip detector, they're going to ping that blue chip on their little screen. Now, so will Wacky, but Wacky knows that that one's there because he dropped it there. What's up, Wookie? Yo, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Okay, boom. So he got his drop and then another ping. That's my blue chip. That's a distraction. What's up, Colin? <laughs> what bad spot I'm in. There's not really a lot of good spots here. So again, this scanner is not doing wacky, like it's not really helping him win this fight at all. They both know where each other are. 
And they can hear each other's movements. See, Wacky heard this guy this whole time. Dude. He really stuck it out there. And again, another example of a player with inferior skill just getting just getting killed here. Wacky gives this guy a prime opportunity to kill him. Like right here, for example, not, this is not this guy's fault, but Wacky has the blue chip in his face. If that guy opens that door and is ready to go and is clearing this room, potentially catches Wacky sleeping. And then right here, he wasn't ready. He should have heard Wacky, but I guess he didn't or whatever, whatever he didn't do. Gets the spray, then Wacky disengages, which he did not need to do, and gives this guy an opportunity just to light him up in the back and kill him. Get, Wacky gets caught on the door. And this guy literally hits one shot out of all those shots. Wacky turns and just burns him. This guy's level three helmet, level three vest. Should have should have very well, maybe not won the fight, but had it a lot closer to a potential trade because of Wacky's mistakes moving through that building. Again, just pointing he, out he really the chip stuck it out there. did not win Wacky the fight. They both already had known, known about each other a long time before that fight actually started. And Wacky already confirmed this last guy um, has been pinging there. Again, this could be a fake chip. Wacky doesn't know that. He just has to assume that going into this scenario, that that is the real person. He keeps scanning it a couple times. Is the, is the dot moving? Is it not moving? There you go. The Wacky's... Okay, boom, he's over there. Oh, now that guy... Okay, now that was unfortunate. I, I didn't even catch that. That guy got shot in the back by a guy over here. That's unfortunate, man. So Wacky heard this shot. Wacky never pinged this guy. He just heard that shot. So now the blue chip um, is not useless, the blue chip detector, but it, it, it isn't needed. Here, he's relying on game sense. And if you look at the zone, he actually has the worst part of the zone. Because he has to come out of his cover first. Oh, look. Saw the guy right there. So now they both know where each other are. I'm in a bad spot. I'm going to die here. Wacky's completely out in the open with zero cover here. And this guy could peek window or side angle or even come down the hill. Like he has a lot of opportunities. Wacky's really stuck here. Now Wacky's just waiting for the zone. I mean, I should die here. Sees the guy in the window, pre-fires the guy, doesn't even shoot. I guess he didn't expect that. He didn't. Um, but yeah, I feel like I feel like you can definitely see the issues with the blue chip detector, right? How it takes away so much core tension towards the end game. That's kind of what I'm trying to demonstrate here. Agreed. Um, I, yeah, I tried to do some tricky stuff while you know planting blue chip to you know full off full the enemy, but like which is a nine thousand IQ I think level. It's pretty clear how negative the blue chip detector affects the most intense battle royale out there of G, right? All right, so just to kind of recap okay. it, I again, I'm not making this uh, this video, this review to be like, Wacky's wrong, um, but I just want to offer some counterpoints to Wacky's video and mainly highlight, uh, you're watching one of the best players you can watch use an item. Wacky, this is the same guy that you watch fly around with a glider and a P92 pistol and dominate the lobby. And he makes that look overpowered. But if he actually comes across a decently skilled player, half of this stuff, half of the scenarios that we just watched don't go the way they went. Or they're at least a lot closer to kind of, you know, being a, a flip coin where they could go either way. Maybe you get the trade, the other person gets the trade. There weren't really any kills that Wacky got here that were really from the blue chip detector. It was merely just like a comfort zone, like, oh, now I know for sure a person is in this building, for instance, as opposed to me having to cautiously 
clear it out. And that's the point that Wacky is making is that it does take away that sense of uh, urgency and the tension, especially in those like corner clearing areas or in game scenarios. But again, the devil's advocate point here is you have to assume players are going to start using the jammer backpack more frequent, more frequently now than ever. Now that they're on more maps and that players know if they wear a jammer backpack, they do not show up on someone's blue chip detector tablet. That's a big, big crutch of the blue chip detector. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, having to constantly pull out the blue chip detector, especially in close range scenarios, is going to make you a lot more vulnerable if someone is being aggressive to you because you ping them one time and it's only every eight seconds. You can move a pretty good distance, you know, close range in eight seconds. So that chip isn't really going to do anything for you except for the initial finding out that someone is in a position that they are in. And again, you're 50 meters away from the ping. You're going to hear somebody 50 meters away in PUBG every time unless that person is camping in a corner and literally not moving. In those scenarios, yes, the blue chip will give you um, at least the position, the knowing of where that enemy is, but that enemy is gonna know where you are. Another point, the drone is actually, in my opinion, a much stronger item for a number of reasons. The drone cannot be negated by a jammer backpack. You can always use a drone to see people. The downside of the drone is that it is pretty obvious that a drone is in the air if anyone's paying attention. So if anyone does look up, they'll see the blinking light and can take a shot at it. But shooting the drone gives away their position too. So they might be a little reluctant to do that. And um, the drone gives you, you know, huge top down overview. So if you position your drone strategically, you can see where everybody is 100 or 200 meters away from your position as opposed to just 50 meters away in a very you know very specific use case scenario another example i want to offer up is the tactical backpack the tactical backpack is going to offer you the chance to have two additional weapons in your secondary backpack specifically a shotgun and or a panzerfaust a lot of these kills that Wacky Jackie pulled out were very close range kills with the AK. While the AK is a, is a great gun, a shotgun beats the AK almost every time. So if you're a player that is going to camp, let's just, let's just say you're, you're a player that likes to sit in a building and you just hold a, hold a building down as long as you can. That's fine. Let's say instead of getting the blue chip detector, you just say, I'm going to get the backpack and I'm going to hold a panzer and a shotgun in here. And when I do hear somebody come close, I'm pulling out the shotgun or I'm pulling out the panzer. So then you already hear them coming close to you, even though they know where you are because they have the blue chip detector. You're like, I don't care. I hear where you're at and I'm going to one shot you with a shotgun or with this panzer. So now who wins the fight? You know, who has the benefit, the better gear at that point? So I hope, hope that hope that makes sense as a just a counter thought point to Wacky's video. Uh, again, this isn't a bash Wacky video, so don't take it as that. I agree with Wacky and a lot of the points that he's making in this video. I just want to offer a uh, alternative thought process to the tactical gear. Is the blue chip um, the one of the strongest items in the game? Yes. Does it change the way you play PUBG the most out of all the items? Yes. Is it going to ruin PUBG's experience single-handedly? I'm here to say no after my experience with it. Um, and I, I think you should give it a try. You playing with it, you know, for a little while, and then also giving the other items a try before making uh making that that determination for yourself. So so that's my opinion. Let me know yours uh in the comments down below. If you agree, disagree or if you have other gear that you think is uh, is maybe too strong and needs to get nerfed. Yeah, even if the Blue Zone Jammer backpack is depleted, even if it's depleted, um, it will still uh, jam the blue chip detector. Yes. How long do the blue chips without something alive hang around on the detector? Do they fit? No, they're there forever. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, you could either, like, if the argument was, let's figure out a way to nerf the blue chip detector, or like, if they don't want to take it out the game, which I'd, I'd be okay if they honestly took the blue chip detector out of the game. 
I, I would be totally okay with that. I, I don't think that item really belongs in PUBG, but, but I also don't think it ruins PUBG. Now, if they wanted to nerf it, delaying the initial scan is probably the best way to do that. Where you pull it out and you have to wait a second or two seconds before it actually scans, as opposed to just immediately pucking, uh, pulling it out and it's scanning. That will be a really good nerf to it in addition to the eight, you know, the eight second delay for the, um, for the follow-up scan. That's a really good point. Uh, warning enemies that they've been detected is also a good one. But again, I don't think it's necessary because like the, the spotter scope, that does warn you when you've been detected, but you can be detected up to 600 meters away. The blue chip detector is 50 meters away. So if you get detected, I guarantee you are already hearing that enemy player that detected you. I promise you, you're going to hear them. Un unless, again, they're sitting perfectly still. Well, in that case, you're not going to hear them, obviously. But if they're running up to your building and they're scanning their thing, you're going to hear them running up to your building. And they'll see you when, when you get scanned if you don't have a jammer backpack. What's up, Dave? Yeah, he, he kills him because he is better. And again, that is a very like, that's just a, a little one-off video Wacky put out. I'm sure if you use it enough times, you could you could find some scenarios where the, the blue chip detector really did save you. Um, but I'm sure you're also going to find a lot of scenarios where it gets you killed, you know? And that, and that, and that scenario, it's, it's Wacky Jacky. So he's going to win 90% of the fights he's playing anyway, you know? Yo, Dylan, thanks for hitting that sub button, man. Appreciate you, baby. Chad, if you guys are liking the video, hit the thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button.